Kia ora Year 12 and Year 11. Here is one question on finding the equation from looking at a graph. Okay, the first one I'm going to do here is the easier of the two, which is the red line. First thing to notice is that my domain is x between 0 and 6. Okay, and my range is y between 0 and 9. Now, the basic form of a parabola looks like this, and it's y equals x squared. In this case, we can see that what we've got is pretty close to that basic form because the vertex is still sitting right here at 0, 0. I just need to check whether it's been stretched sideways or up and down. So I'm not talking about translated, I'm talking about a scale factor, a stretchiness factor. Now, one way to do this, we can, we're can we going to do this with a, a little bit of working, but we could look at where the basic parabola goes, and it would go through 1, 1, and then it would go through 2 and 4, and so on. So from looking, we can see that this has got some kind of scale factor, y equals kx squared, and we should by now have a feel that that value of k will be less than 1. So we're going to look at our blobby points on the red line, and see what we can do with that. So here we've got x and y. x is 2 and y is 1. Um, the next one comes at 4, 4. And the last one we've got here is at 6 and 9. So some of you will see this just by looking, um, but we'll, we'll, I'll show you how to work it out if you don't see it. So we're going to take one of those points, and we substitute it in 4 is equal to k times x squared. So 4 is equal to 16k. k must equal 1 quarter. And my equation is equal to y equals 1 quarter x squared. All right, so I've finished. If I had to describe the features of that graph, well, what would I talk about? The first thing would be um, to look at the origin, which is both the x and the y intercept. It's also the vertex of the parabola, or it would be if we had the other half. Okay, so it's still interesting because it looks like it's at the base. Um, what else would we say there? I think that's about it. There are no asymptotes because it's a parabola. And you can see that the gradient of the curve is increasing as x is increasing. So that's about it on that one. On the next slide, we're going to work out how to find the equation of the blue line. Alright, now there's a, a quick, easy way to figure out the equation of the blue line, which is to notice that the blue line is a reflection in the line y equals x. Now we figured out before that the parabola part here had the equation y equals 1 quarter x squared. So if I'm reflecting something in the line y equals x, you can see that on the parabola we had the point 2, 1. All right. And so now on the blue line we've got the point x is 1 and y is 2. Similarly, for the point on the red line, which was 6 and 9, now on the blue line we've got the point 9 and 6, and 4, 4 hasn't moved. So the x's and y's have swapped over. So that means I can find the equation of the new one by swapping the x's and y's, and I can do this. x equals 1 quarter y squared. So 4x is equal to y squared. So that gives us, whoops, my slide's gone wonky. y is equal to the square root of 4x. In other words, y is equal to 2 times the root of x. So every point in the basic form, y equals x, has then been doubled. All right, and I, I can see that by doing what I did with the red one. So I'm going to use, uh, what colour? Let's see, purple, I think. Yeah, we'll find the purple pen. Here we are. Purple pen. And I'm going to plot y equals root x. Now I probably should have done that to start with, shouldn't I? So there's 1, 1. The square root of 4 is 2. And the square root of 9 is 3. 
So my basic form looks like that. My form has, whoops, my form has been doubled. So that would be another really easy way to go with that one. On the next slide, I'm going to show you another way that, with a, a bit of algebra, that you could use to figure this out. Well, I've lost lost my lovely graph, but it went something like that. The general, the basic form of a square root graph is y equals root x. But we want to know if this one has been stretched around. So we could think of it as this. y is equal to the square root of k times x. So now, as usual, we just substitute in a point from here. And I'm going to sub in 4, 4. So we get 4 is equal to the square root of k times 4. So 4 is equal to, what am I doing here? Well, a couple of ways to go. 2 root k, so the square root of k is equal to 2, and squaring both sides, I get k is equal to 4. So we get y is equal to the square root of 4x, which is equal to 2 root x. OK, that's all for now. Um, three more short videos like this one to come. Thanks for watching.